Hello and welcome to a quick little video about Atlas Passes for Necropolis League Star 324 Path of Exile League. Basically there is this uh, tool that has been going on for the previous few few leagues that has done some auto auto pathing for your skill tree and it's very useful for beginners. I was using this tool recently i've made some skill trees that you guys might use but because this is for league start and for helping people get to as high tier of maps as possible including the drops i have made a little little tree here for you however i will explain this path of pathing website First things first, it selects, you select, pardon, what you want to do. As an example, if you want to do incursion, it will, when on mouse over, select all of these, show it, but on click, it will click all of these and select them. You can do this with as many of uh, league content or out of the league content that you, that you would like, because this time we have the Necropolis League as a content on the Atlas Passive Tree. And um, you can pick however points you may. This tool is made so you can pick up everything, basically. There's a little reset button in the bottom left corner. But let's say, as an example, you want to do a farming route of Legion, Breach. So you would choose uh, you would choose Legion, you would choose Breach. You want to add some June over there, which is Betrayal. And then you have some extra points to play around. Maybe you want to add in the Maven or some guardians and so on so you can you can play with this tool however you'd like keep in mind there are still some points here and there that you could possibly save this tool just incorporates everything and just tosses a general tree that is why it is very useful for beginners because beginners you don't have to think about um, anything you just click what you want and it's going to path it the quickest way that's it so i would suggest this tool for beginners because you can play the things that you want to play and you can avoid the things that you don't. Now, on uh, one more one more note, when you click a node, it's going to be desired if it's green. If it's red, it's going to be not desired slash ignored. And if it's clicked again, it's going to put it to normal, normal levels and so on. So you can just re-click the node and it is going to auto path again. Now, however, if you want to have specific nodes like like this, it's going to auto path, including the green nodes. So if you don't want it to run through through that direction, you can just click one there, but you can still see you have this one and it's going to auto path the other way. Now for beginners, I suggest going and taking the map nodes. You can take the Nico, you can go above here. You can go on the left side with, uh, with June, pardon, with Alva. You can go down with June, you can go with Einhar. Whichever master you'd like, this was the, the quickest pathing towards these points. So these are map nodes. These map nodes basically have a high 85 total percent chance to for maps to gain one tier higher. So for maps to drop, tier 1 to 15 maps found have 15% chance to become one tier higher. I had to check my notes as well, just in case. With an additional thing, which I cannot recommend enough for beginners, with this Keystone Notable Passive. So there are three levels of passives, same as with Atlas. Small ones, which are filler nodes, notable ones, which are the green one, the, pardon the green one, the yellow ones with the notches that give you significant bonuses and keystone notables, which change the atlas in a certain way. This one, back to basics, basically says your maps randomly have between 0 to 80% more modifier effect. Extra content cannot appear in your maps, cannot apply influence to your maps. I would recommend this to beginners, to players who do not want to interact with anything and want to learn the base game. Once you learn the base game enough that you think you can add more content, remove this node and then like, remove this node and then play through with the with the other nodes, whatever content you would like to pursue. If you are feeling adventurous, I strongly suggest going through like one route, choose one master of four, either Einhar, Alva, Nico or June and play through them. You can always take Kirak for bonus missions, but 
that's how I think it is. Now on my Discord, I have sorted some some planner planner builds. Like you have this one, which is Searing Exarch, Alva, Necropolis, and Scarabs that you can farm as many and that you can farm as many monsters as you possibly can to optimize the league. There's also Searing Exarch, June, Scarabs, and Legion, because Legion is a very, very good mechanic to farm as well, so you can do that one. I will list all of the trees that I have made and look through in the description below, just so it helps. But here is one thing. If you've made your, your build, if you've made the list that you wanted to pick, you can, in the bottom left corner of the page, Click open in PoE Planner. This will open in the website PoE Planner where you can actually see what you can change, what not, put points individually and so on because this one this one can put like closest path as well, but the previ but it cannot select if you select like essence, it just hovers over them and shows them where they are. It doesn't select them for you. So that's PoE Planner. I will, of course, link the PoE Planner as well as with Path of Pathing and this general node. Now, if you click on the left side, show stats, it will show you all the stats. That is also included in uh, PoE Planner, but it's on the right side here, and you can choose which uh, tree it is, which is Necropolis tree, which is the next, next league. Otherwise, that's going to be it for this video. It's quick, short, sweet for League Starter and for beginners to get used to maps. There will be updates, even for, for this video and the uh, rest, in the Atlas Passive passive um, PoE for Dummies series because I have to rework that one with the, all the new information and things. That's going to take some time. I just want to play the League for the weekend and we'll see where that goes. Updates on the build and everything else is expected, of course, come Monday and next week. But otherwise, if you've liked this video, please do give it a like. Thank you so much for watching. Sub if you don't mind to. There's, there's a bell as well to hit those notifications. So some people don't get them, some people do. YouTube's weird. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you for League Start tomorrow for a long, long stream session. So have a good one.